Welcome to a brand new edition of the Taiwan Outlook, and I'm your host, Wu Rei Guo. On today's edition, he was one time a government diplomat to South Africa, and he later became the spokesman for the Taiwan provincial government under Governor James Soon. He's now a member of the Legislative Yuan in Taiwan, and he's a very good friend of mine. He's Daniel Huang, and he's our special guest today on the Taiwan Outlook. Daniel, welcome to our program. Thank you, Raymond. Thank you for inviting me, and all the best wishes to our audience. Yes. Nice to see you again. Well, it's a great pleasure to have you here. The pleasure is uh, mine. Yes. yes. <laughs> well, Daniel, uh, we're going to start off something very broad. Uh, people say that it's been uh, over a year since President Ma ying became the president, and there's been a lot of progress, you know, especially in cross trade relations. But as a member of the legislature, can you give us a general overview of the you know, evaluation of the performance of the government you know, in the past year so far? Well, it's a broad issue. Yes, uh, as it's usual. big. <laughs> you always ask broad issues. <laughs> yeah. We'll start big and we'll go down to the details. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, as we all know, uh, President Ma took office uh, uh, May, uh, May 20th of yeah. uh, 2008. 2008. Yes. It's already one year passed. Mm -hmm. and, uh, as far as I'm concerned, as a congressman, mm -hmm. my assessment of uh, Mao's administration's performance is wonderful. He's been doing fine, mm -hmm. a good job, a fun job. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, when uh, President Mao came to office, yes. uh, he succeeded Taiwan Republic of China. Yes. At that time, you yes. see, uh, three factors. Yes. Uh, politically, yes. uh, his predecessors, uh, the former president, mm -hmm. uh, Chen Shui-bian, yes. and his family, yes were deeply involved yes. uh, in the so-called judicial scandals, mm -hmm. quite mild. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, people's uh, confidence in government, government mm -hmm. uh, well, in my opinion, was uh, uh, damaged. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, that's the political, um, political side. Yes. So uh, the mission for Ma and his administration is to rebuild yes. uh, people's uh, confidence, confidence in, yes. in the government's performance. Exactly. And on the economic side, mm -hmm. uh, it's a worldwide uh, financial tsunami. Yes. Uh, financial economic slowdown mm -hmm. uh, battering Taiwan. Taiwan is no exception worldwide. Of it's, course. It's, it's affected by the so-called financial tsunami. Uh, yes. And that really is a, a, man, a tremendous, uh, say, uh, task. Yes. Uh, for Mars and his administration to uh, withstand, yes. to stand uh, in the pressure, face of, in yes. face of uh, the economic and, and financial pressure, mm -hmm. to do something uh, mm -hmm. uh, to bear out people's sufferings during mm -hmm. the financial and economic slowdown mm -hmm. period. Mm -hmm. And on the cross trade yes. relations. That's uh, the third part, yes. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. President Mars and he, in his administration inherited. Uh, a very, very delicate mm -hmm. and so-called lack of uh, mutual trust mm -hmm. uh, situation mm -hmm. uh, on the cross-strait relations. Precisely. So these three, as I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. are diverse factors. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, are the uh, so-called like thorny issues affronting Ma and his implications. Very much. But he has been doing just fine, mm -hmm. uh, bit by bit, gradually. Yes. He and his uh, people. Yes are unable yes. to uh, regain the people's confidence yes. in the presidency yes. and his arbitration. So luckily, we have seen a lot of uh, changes mm -hmm. in, in 360 some days in mm -hmm. one year time. Mm -hmm. This is really uh, uh, amazing and, and really impressive. Quite remarkable, yeah, yeah. yes. And also, Daniel, yourself was re-elected to a third term last this is my fourth term. fourth turn yes That's, i'm sorry I'm all done. <laughs> my, my apology all done <laughs> yes that's my but you're senior <laughs> no. yes and then uh, you were elected to a fourth term the fourth in terms. january yeah. of 2008 yeah. and you gave us the three factors that you mentioned uh that that, that was at the time you also had your campaign your own re-election how did you feel that your you know uh, voters were expressing their concerns over those three areas, especially on uh, economics and the uh, cross trade issues. Mm -hmm. What was you know people in your district, you know Taichung City? That's right. Yeah. What were they telling you, as their representative in the national parliament, 
What were they telling you on those issues? Are they worried about Taiwan's economic future? Are they really concerned about our relations with China? Because under the DPP government, it was very confrontational. It was yeah. very tense. So what were the kinds of sentiments that you were able to pick up from your conversation with people back home? Yeah, indeed. Uh, when I was running yes. my uh, campaigns for my uh, re-election, first term re election uh, yes. the voters in my yeah. district constituency, yes. my constituency district in Taichung City yes. is 175 uh, kilometers yes. south of Taipei, yes. the third largest city. So mainly, basically, is that most of the voters are so-called cosmopolitan-minded uh, uh, yes. voters. So very much so, so, they were very concerned, very worried about the uh, confrontational, uh, say, attitude, yes. uh, posture uh, yeah. adopted by the former president, yeah. uh, Chen Shui-bian, and his exactly. uh, administration uh, in the past eight years. Eight years. So this kind of uh, mistrust yes. uh, between Taiwan and mainland China, mm -hmm. uh, between the cross Strait, uh, really is worrying them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so. Uh, whenever I uh, uh, shake hand with uh, my potential voters, yes. they told me, do something. Once you get elected, yes. uh, telling uh, the uh, future president yes. and his administration to do something, to patch up yes. the uh, relations. relations between two sides of Taiwan Street, yes. uh, so that uh, our businessmen can pursue the mutual parallel interest mm -hmm. uh, between uh, the Taiwanese Taiwan. businessmen and mainland businessmen. Exactly. It's a uh, mutually beneficial. Yes. Uh, Win-win situation. Yeah, that win-win situation. That's what they emphasize. Oh, they stressed. Okay. okay. Uh, so I gave them uh, my promise. So I deliver, deliver on my promises. Yes. Uh, when precisely. I got elected, uh, yes. I have uh, several occasions on which I have the honor uh -huh. uh, having the audience with the president yes. himself and his uh, people. Yes. So I told him, and yeah. I, I, uh, I relay my voters' concerns to, to our president. Exactly. Uh, and he was very responsible. He said he would uh, uh, be obliged yes. uh, to uh, improve the yes. relations between uh, two sides of town street, yes. which he delivered. Yes. Uh, I was very impressed. Yes. And secondly, people's livelihood. Yes. Quality is, of life is, is crucial. Yes, precisely. Everything is local, yes. as, as <laughs> our yeah. uh, mentors. Uh, yeah. Used to say, yes. all politics are local. local. I think all politics are local concerning people's life food. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, they're concerned about uh, oil price, yes. uh, consumer price, yeah. uh, education, uh, commodity prices, yes. education. Yeah. Mainly uh -huh. the consumer price, yes. uh, livelihood. Yeah. So uh, I think so our president and, and his people uh -huh. realize yes. that's very vital, crucial to their legitimacy. Yes. Uh, of governance. Yes. So um, once they took office, they have done uh, mm -hmm. uh, a lot, a lot. Uh, improving people's livelihood yes. and uh, uh, increasing public investment. Yes. And also uh, we have passed a lot of uh, legislation uh, trying exactly. to soothe, yes. uh, to relieve people's yes. yeah, livelihood, burden, burden yes. and cost of living. Yes. Um, Given the ways, uh, certain kind of uh, subsidies. Yes, spending that, vouchers. Yeah, that's also. that's yes. that's a necessity. Yes, yeah. I yes. think all uh, worldwide, all, yeah. all, all governments, yeah, they do the same, roughly same same thing. Yes, under the financial yeah, that's uncertainties, right. and also Daniel, you mentioned the fact that you're elected from the city of Taichung, which is the third largest city and metropolitan area in Taiwan. Of course, this is a very you know uh, much developing a very promising region in Taiwan, you know, and uh, as you know, there are direct flights now between Taichung and many cities on the mainland. As a member of the elected representative from Taichung, what are your visions for the future of Taichung in terms of, you know, as cross-strait economic relations become more expansive and become more integrated? How would you like to see Taichung in the future as compared to other metropolitan areas in Taiwan, like Taipei or Kaohsiung. How do you position, uh, as a member of the legislature, how would you like to see Taichung, say, in three years, five years, ten years down the line? Well, again, it's a good question. <laughs> I think uh, thanks to uh, government's policies, yes. now we have uh, so-called direct air linkage, yes. direct air flight. 
from uh, Taichung, my district, to uh, the major cities in yes, China. Beijing, uh, yeah. Shanghai, that, places. That's right. But only certain route, yes. not, not, not all, all the routes yes. covering all the major cities in no. China. It's impossible. It's, no. uh, it's very fortunate. Yes. My uh, local district, my dis constituency, Taichung, geog uh, geographically, is uh, the distance, distance, the air distance between Taichung and Xiamen and Fujian, yeah. Shanghai, mm -hmm. because, of, because of the location of my district, Taichung. Yes. That's the shortest yes. uh, air distance from Taichung. For Precisely. instance, yeah. if you uh, fly from Taichung uh, to Xiangang Airport to uh, Xiamen, uh -huh. that will be uh, only uh, 70 minutes. Okay, 70 minutes. Uh, very, A little very over one hour. Convenient. Yes. Yeah, very convenient. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and Taichung's, uh, we are, we have, uh, say, uh, we have uh, 19 yes. universities and yes. colleges. All, A lot all of the, brain power. All the <laughs> educational institutions yes. are located in, in Taichung, and, and that's just uh, more than one million uh, manpower, a fine quality uh, human resources yes. in Taichung. And we are, we are ready, we are getting ready to do, uh, to conduct, conduct yes. all kinds of uh, meaningful uh, yes. Engagement with the men in China, our, yes. our, our brethren in men yes. in China. Yes. Unfortunately, uh, because of the location, because uh, in the past uh, several decades, the uh -huh. governments uh, pay much more attention to Taipei's development, yeah. uh, and then uh, to another uh, cosmopolitan, to Kaohsiung. Uh, Kaohsiung. Yeah. And Taichung's are sort of uh, being uh, ignored yes. by uh, central governments. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, one of the regrets. Yes. Uh, we, we try to redress in yeah. the future yeah. as, a, as a congressman from that part of the world. Yeah. I, I'm trying to uh, convince uh, the, no, the city mayor, Jason yeah. Hu, he yes. and, and three uh -huh. uh, neighboring congressmen, cities. Yeah. Congressmen. Oh, okay. so we work together yes. closely, is, uh, trying yeah. to convince our, uh, our government, central government, to do to something. Yes. Uh, to, uh, With your participation, Daniel, and also your passion that's always been a trademark of your career development, <laughs> I'm sure the future of Taichung City and the bigger central region in Taiwan are looking very, very promising. We're going to take a short break and we'll be right back to the Taiwan Outlook where we'll continue this conversation with Mr. Daniel Huang, a member of the KMT Legislative Caucus in Taiwan. We'll be back in three minutes.